English civilization developed industrial technology about 80 years, two generations before anywhere else in the world. It took Germany, France, and the continent about 70, 80 years to have their industrial revolutions, way ahead. The strange thing is that almost exactly the same thing happened in Japan. It was about 70 or 80 years ahead of places like Hong Kong and so on. It had its industrial revolution in the late 19th century, in the 1870s, 80s, and it took another 70 or 80 years for it to spread to Korea and all these other places. It took off just like that in two generations from about 1870 to 1910, it had turned from an absolutely agrarian craft civilization into the foremost industrial civilization in the East, a civilization that could defeat Russia and could defeat China in war through its industrial technology. It was as fantastic growth, just as miraculous as the British in many ways, except that it was a copy. So the ideas were there, the technologies were there, and the Japanese imported them, and used them, and made their industrial revolution. But it's not as easy as that, because if they were there, well, why didn't India? Why didn't Islam? Why didn't China? Why only this place, 70 years ahead of anywhere else? Now, there are all sorts of factors. Japan was a small-ish place, which is helpful. It was very unified culture and homogenous. It was very highly literate culture. It had big cities, good health, very disciplined labor force, worked very hard, very well organized, rich, relatively rich, not part of any empire or colony or whatever. So it had various predisposing factors. But these I don't think are enough. I think the, um, there are some other factors. One is that it had always looked abroad for its ideas and was very open to ideas. It had shut up for a couple of centuries. But before then, it had always borrowed its technologies from China. And suddenly now, it wasn't China, it was America and Britain that had the technologies. And it, was, it had learnt that to survive, you borrowed them very quickly. But that isn't enough. Another factor is that it had a particular, very flexible social structure. And what the Japanese do again and again is they completely remould their society. They keep their basic ideas and institutions, but they just readjust everything. So they readjust their social structure and everyone behaves in a different way and they can do that almost overnight just as they did after the second world war when they decided that they couldn't beat america they would become american so they became american and they before they'd become chinese then they become dutch and german and english and now american they can just do this they remain japanese but they just shift everything and they do it very effectively very efficiently very quickly they don't have a great vested interest in maintaining themselves as they were. They keep the core of their culture, their language, their, some of their institutions, but then shift their working practices and their organization. And so, in a sense, Japan was like, I often think, like a fire. All the bits of wood were laid there. They were all in the right places, but they had a very simple technology, no wheels, no other machines, hardly. So what was needed was just the, the flame lit this social structure and this organized civilization. They just lit it and it exploded within 20, 30 years into an advanced industrial system.